Well, hey everyone, this video is about the invulnerable HP 42S calculator that was on the market from 1988 till 1995. And the 42S is regarded by many as being one of the best designed uh, scientific calculators of all time. And it was a uh, most advanced scientific calculator from HP's Pioneer family, which included a number of other models I have videos on, such as the 20S, uh, 27S, and the 32S2. Uh, and some sources state that the 42S was originally developed as a replacement uh, for the hugely popular 41 series and this was only changed late in its development cycle uh, because in the end it was marketed as a 15c uh, replacement instead and it's difficult to know uh, to what extent this was true uh, but the relationship with the 41 in particular is really interesting because it was clearly an evolution of the 41 in terms of its built-in functionality and programmability uh, but didn't include the 41's expandability or io and it was not able to leverage any of uh, that platform's large ecosystem of uh, rom cards peripherals and hp il devices that helped to make the 41 platform so compelling and in the end, this meant it wasn't necessarily a direct replacement. Um, during the 80s, there was a seismic shift happening with personal computers. Uh, the IBM PC was introduced in 1981. It was rapidly adopted all through the 80s, along with its clones, including HP's own Spectre PCs. And this certainly would have affected the market for the 41, because it was arguably more of a general purpose computing device than just a scientific calculator. Uh, it's also worth remembering uh, that by 1988 um, the RPL-based HP 28C and 28S were also on the market and it was clear that HP considered RPL the future foundation for their advanced scientific calculators. So this may have also affected the plans for the 42S. So physically the 42S shares the same modular hardware platform with the other 10 Pioneer models such as this 20S. And it's impressive that HP were able to make such a large range of calculators all utilizing that same basic physical design. <clears throat> uh, the 42S was slimmer, lighter and more pocketable than the 41 series and it had a 32 by 16 dot matrix display, uh, which is shared with the 27S scientific and 17B and B2 business calculators. And it used this to great advantage to display uh, both a menu system uh, as well as both the X and Y registers. And arguably, these are the two features that most define the 42S. Uh, the menu system provides a user-friendly way to access the calculator's menu functions and being able to view the wire register definitely reduces the, the user's cognitive load uh, while performing calculations. Another effect of the menu system is that it allows for very clean design and um, the 42S only has a single shift key uh, and up and down arrows for navigating menus and, and in many ways it's very similar to the 41C's keyboard. It shares almost all of the same primary key functions uh, but a big difference was that the Pioneers lacked uh, the chamfered keys of the 41 with their associated rocking action and this may have been a contributing factor for the 42S not including uh, the alphabetic keys from the 41. Uh, but on the 22S and 32S, HP put those alphabetic labels uh, to the right of the keys. And so it's interesting why HP didn't do the same thing for this 42S. Another key difference from the 41, of course, was the arithmetic operations were moved from the left side of the keypad to the right uh, and the order of operations changed. But these changes started a lot earlier with the Pioneer series in 1981, and there are still people arguing about which is better. Um, the 42S, unlike some of the other Pioneers, didn't have dedicated uh, soft keys for menus. Uh, instead, the top row of keys uh, change function while menus are displayed, uh, which can be a little bit awkward in some situations. And if we look at the back, uh, we can see uh, that the 42S uh, uses three LR44 batteries, which uh, tend to last for many months. Uh, the 42S also has an infrared 
transmitter that allows it to communicate with the HP 82240 printer. And it's interesting again why they didn't put an IR receiver in as well. Uh, so it could do two-way communication a bit like the later uh, 48SX model did. Uh, because it uses heat stakes, uh, the Pioneers are very difficult to take apart. Uh, so I won't be showing the internals uh, but it uses the Lewis version of the Saturn processor with an 8 megabyte RAM card. Uh, and you can actually change the speed of the processor through a memory setting. And I'll include a link to my buddy Darren's video about how to do this in the video description. And so, of course, the 42S is an RPM uh, calculator with a four level stack. So to calculate 2 plus 3 times 4, uh, you would enter 2, 3, and 4 onto the stack, and then hit multiply, and then plus. And some of the basic scientific functions are available directly on the top two rows of the keyboard. Uh, so for example, sign. Uh, but many of the 42's functions are available via menus. So say we wanted to find a 10 factorial word, uh, can enter 10 uh, and then select uh, the factorial function from the probability menu. And the menu system on the 42S is quite advanced. Uh, menus with more than six labels are divided into rows. Um, so say if we open uh, the clear menu, uh, we can see these up and down arrows are displayed. And that means we can page through the rows. So we can hit the cursor keys uh, to see each row of function. Uh, and menus can have submenus, and uh, we can exit the menu system using uh, the exit key. Uh, you can also run functions without using any menus using the execute button, uh, similar to the 41 series. And so here we need to use uh, the alpha menu uh, to enter the name of a function. So let's run the fix function which sets the number of digits we want uh, displayed. Uh, so we'll need to navigate uh, to the letters uh, using these menus. And then functions on the 42S can accept parameters, so let's enter uh, 11 digits. No, we could have selected the fix function also uh, from the display menu. One aspect of alpha support on the 42S and the 41 series that's different from, say, the later RPL models is that if we enter uh, a string in alpha mode, uh, it's not automatically pushed onto the stack. Instead, it's stored in a dedicated alpha register that can hold up to 44 characters. And so you can store and retrieve the first six characters of the alpha register into other registers or variables. So uh, we're viewing the alpha register now, and we can hit uh, the store key and then dot. Uh, and we can pick the register we want to store it into. So let's uh, pick X. Uh, and now we can see that uh, the string is on the stack. Uh, alpha mode on the 42S also supports uh, upper and lowercase uh, letters. So to pick the lowercase version, we hit uh, shift uh, before we enter the menu item for the letter. And similar to the 41, the 42S has a catalog that's used to view the contents of memory, uh, but it's a lot uh, more user-friendly than the 41's version. Uh, there are sub-menus for uh, functions, uh, programs, uh, and three types of uh, variables, real, complex, and matrix. And the last uh, function displays the amount of free memory in the system. And the 42S also has good support for matrices. And the way they work is interesting. Uh, there's a matrix descriptor that goes on the stack, and the matrix values themselves are stored in free memory. And matrix functions are accessed via built-in matrix application. Uh, so to create a new matrix, uh, we enter the dimensions onto the stack, uh, and then we can either use the new command from the matrix app uh, or use the dim command to uh, create a new matrix variable. So let's use dim, and I'll pick M1. <clears throat> and now we can enter uh, values within the matrix using the edit N command. Uh, and so let's enter some values uh, and use the right arrow command to page through. And um, while you're editing, the X register is being updated with the current value uh, you're editing or viewing. And you can perform calculations on the stack and then uh, save them into the matrix. Uh, and so now we've got our matrix M1. 
uh, we can recall it onto the stack and let's say duplicate it uh, and we'll multiply them together uh, and we can view the results again using the matrix application uh, and we can page through the, the components. And uh, again, the matrix support on the 42S is really solid. You can grow and redimension matrices. Uh, the 42S can also solve systems of simultaneous equations using coefficient matrices. Uh, and you can even say, uh, take the sign of a matrix and then um, the sign will be performed on each of the components. And the 42S is very easy to program, so let's use my favorite uh, simple example, the full distance equation, the distance an object falls under gravity in time t. Uh, and we can hit the program function to go into programming mode. And we'll start by creating a new label, and we can do that by bringing up the program functions menu uh, and selecting label. And let's call it uh, FD. And so now we'll um, assume the time value in seconds is on the stack uh, and we will need to square it uh, and then multiply it by 4.8. Uh, and then uh, we want to return. And uh, to run the program, uh, we can exit out of program mode, uh, enter a time and uh, Let's uh, pick FD uh, from the execute menu. And so the 42S uh, doesn't support user-defined keys uh, like the 41 series, but you can set up a custom menu of uh, command functions. So to add that full distance function to our custom menu, uh, we just use the assign key. Uh, we select program FD uh, and we can assign it to that soft key. Uh, and then um, we can bring up the custom function at any time uh, and run our full distance equation. And 42S users tend to use the custom menu a lot. Uh, you can also assign variables to the soft keys, such as um, matrix variables that we used before. And although they're not quite as powerful, custom menus have the considerable advantage that they don't require any keyboard overlays to conveniently use. And you can also create dynamic menus from programs. So this is a version of the full distance program uh, written in a different style. And the first section defines two menu items, a uh, distance and time. And each of these execute a function uh, defined below. So for example, the time version will prompt for distance uh, and then solve for time. Uh, and so let's run this now. Uh, and we can see the menu that got created. Uh, let's pick time and let's say solve for two uh, kilometers. Uh, and the time is 20.41 seconds approximately. Uh, and it can't be a calculator culture video without uh, talking about the N Queen's chess problem. And so here's a version of uh, a solution for the 42S. Uh, and I won't run it because it takes 11 and a half minutes. Uh, and I guess for 1988, uh, that was actually relatively slow. Uh, for example, the RPL version on the 28C only takes 2 minutes and 27 seconds. And even, say, the Casio FX uh, 4800P, which was released about the same time, uh, takes uh, just over 2 minutes as well. Uh, another big thing uh, the 42S lacked over the 41 series was its support for programming assembler. Uh, so lots of the 41's uh, ROM modules were written in M code uh, that it could often run 100 times faster than uh, comparable keystroke programs. Uh, and they could also override the built-in functions of the 41, effectively creating new operating system uh, like Angle, Martin's, OSX, ROM, uh, that I have another video on. Uh, and although synthetic programming on the 42S was possible uh, via uh, the Sigma register uh, function, uh, it wasn't commonly done like on the 41. And so overall, the 42S was definitely not as hackable as uh, the 41 series platform.
And so in summary, the 42S is a really beautiful and powerful calculator. Uh, its relationship to the 41 series is puzzling since it was program compatible, but was not necessarily a direct successor. And as I mentioned earlier, there are a number of factors that have, may have contributed to that decision. Now, it's also not clear why HP chose to uh, not put alphabetic labels on the keyboard and why they put uh, 8K of RAM in the 42S, but didn't provide any way for users to store and retrieve programs from external devices. Now we're fortunate that uh, Swiss Micros addressed these limitations with the DM42, uh, adding alpha keyboard labels, um, a USB port, and an extra row of soft keys, uh, and more, more powerful hardware. Uh, but to me, the 42S is one of the high points of design in the history of uh, calculators. It represents the pinnacle of a line of evolution of HP's RPN calculators uh, before the RPL uh, graphing models, and it deserves to be included in any list of the greatest calculators ever made. And so I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful, and if you have, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell to get alerted of new videos.